Uh, my question was, um, how do spirits interfere with a couple if they're not happy with which, if the parent has passed over another spirit? How do they do they physically interfere or do they? Uh, there's lots of ways they can interfere depending on the emotions <coughs> of the couple. So this is where, remember everything gets back to the emotions that you have within you and what that attracts. So imagine you've got, you've got the married couple or partnered couple here on the earth, right? And I'm always drawing heterosexual ones because obviously 80% of us are about that. So, so we've got the married or partnered couple here on earth. We've got the spirit, maybe, maybe let's say it's the wife's mother who passed. <laughs> And she's never been happy with the relationship. She's never been happy with the fact that she's hooked up with this guy she just doesn't like. It's just something about this guy she doesn't like, right? There's a lot of different ways she can impact the relationship if, if these two are not dealing with their emotions. So that's the big if. If they are working through their emotions, then whatever she does can't have any lasting impact upon the relationship. But if they're not working through her emotions, let's look at some of the emotions. Let's say the wife um, feels a deep desire to please her mother that she never got rid of while she was on earth. Then what the mother will do is keep dropping thoughts into the wife's mind, or, sorry, into the daughter's mind, about this man and how she's not pleasing her mother by being with this man. So you imagine that, like, you look at the man, yeah, he's no good for you. You know, look at the man, and the instant you look at him, you get a thought, he's no good for you. And you imagine that dropped into you 20 times today. <laughs> That's going to have an effect on you, isn't it? If you're hooked into, and the, the emotion that allows that thought to drop into your mind is the fact that you're seeking your mother's approval still. Does that make sense? Now, if you release the emotion of seeking your mother's approval, your mother won't even be able to drop that thought into your mind. Does that make sense to everyone? So, so what's actually happening is this woman's emotions attract the mother who's upset with this partnership, and then the way that this mother can affect her is by dropping thoughts into her mind. Because she emotionally allows her mother's interference. She's a, she has the emotion that her mother's emotions are important to her. Because of that, she allows her mother's interference. And she could drop all sorts of things, you know. He might have been out a bit late with the guys one evening. The thought is, he was out with a woman. You know, it might not even be true. But the mother might continue to do that just to stir up problems. So this is why spirit, shall we call it inspiration, is not always trustworthy. Spirit inspiration is not always trustworthy because many times spirits have ulterior motives to drop thoughts into people's minds. Now let's say you've got a parent who have passed and they've got three or four siblings and there's problems between the siblings because of different things. Those parents can go from one sibling to another sibling telling them different stories still just to cause trouble, just to cause disharmony between them. This happens all the time, depending on the emotion of the parents and what they want to avoid in the spirit world as well. Don't they have anything better to do? <laughs> well, they don't have to go and cook, they don't have to clean, they don't have to find a place to live because there's already got one even though it might not be very pleasant. And so what, what will you do if all of the, you think of how much of your time last week was taken up with all those things. Mm -hmm. Cooking, cleaning, um, shopping, working, shopping, ironing, ironing. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of your whole week, how much of your week was taken up with all that? Like, isn't it like three quarters of your week? You imagine you now have none of that to do. How are you going to fill that time? No, you're not, you're <laughs> no, they don't sleep. No, they don't need to sleep. They they rest, but they don't need to sleep. So you imagine that. So so what would you do? What you would do is everything that your emotions drag you into doing. So if your emotions are 
I'm really upset with my daughter, then you're going to be hanging around your daughter telling her you're upset with her. You know, whether she can hear or not, it's immaterial. You're just going to be pushing those emotions at her. If your emotions are you're upset with something going on in the Middle East, you'll nip over to the Middle East and embroil yourself in that. Whatever your emotions take you to is where you will go. I think learning and growing They only learn and grow in the spirit world if they want to. And there's lots and lots of people on earth who pass never wanting to grow on the earth. And so when they pass into the spirit world, they don't want to grow there either. So they stay in these locations doing these things, some of them, for thousands of years until they want to grow. See, there's a big assumption that most of us have is that as soon as you pass in the spirit world, you have this automatic enlightenment, and all of a sudden you know everything, and isn't it wonderful? That's not how it is. You know what you know as soon as you pass in the spirit world? One more thing, generally, is that you know when you're here on earth. And that is that you died and there is a spirit world. <laughs> and even then, it's not always that that you know. Many of them don't even realise they've died. So, you know, they don't even know that. Jan? Um, so, if the, say, for instance, the daughter on mm -hmm. Earth was processing... Was processing her emotions. Yeah. One of the emotions she'd be processing is a need of approval from... The mother. The mother. The mother wouldn't have as much of an influence. Would have zero influence. Even though she hasn't moved on. Even the though, mother, the mother if the mother was on earth as well, you're saying, no, or in the spirit world, world, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, she would have no influence because the daughter is processing her emotion and not projecting the emotion at the husband. The only way that she can have influence is to get the daughter to blame the husband, isn't it? That's the only way that she can have influence. If the daughter lets herself feel her own emotion and allows the emotion to be processed, then how can the mother influence this relationship? She can't. And that's why, can you see that you have the most power when you're processing your emotion. You have the least amount of power when you're in denial of your emotion. Because every emotion you're in denial of is an emotion someone else, either on earth or in the spirit world, can manipulate. That's when you have the least amount of power. You have the most amount of power when you're feeling your emotions. Because no one can manipulate them while you're feeling them. You're actually just feeling them and letting them pass through you. 